Hi, my name is Brad Wolf. I'm a product manager with Dell Software. Today I'm going to show you what's new in Toad for Oracle version 12.7. Here's a menu for the new features. We'll cover these in order and what better way to show the new functionality than to get started with a demo. The first thing you'll notice is the simplification and streamlining of the Team Coding Manager. There are two sub-tabs, a VCS view showing your version control directory structure and as well a Team Projects view which presents the objects within Toad, in this case broken out by a particular schema. For this example I've got a table that I've checked out, I've added a new column and before checking in that change I can also view the file differences and understand precisely what's unique uh, between my local version uh, and the version control provider. In this case a new column will be added upon check-in. The PL SQL editor is an area where users spend a significant amount of time and you can see we've made some very interesting changes to the editor itself. You can see here I've got the IntelliSense drop down showing only tables. I can add other objects if I like. We've also made the options easily accessible. Here I've clicked on them. Uh, here I can indicate which inside objects I want to present. In that previous view I showed only tables, but I can certainly show more. I can also easily affect the font and see a preview of the font as well as color and other attributes for the editor itself. I'm going to apply those changes and observe the updated view within the editor. You'll also notice different markings depending on the violation, whether it's a syntactical violation. Here we've got an incomplete select statement denoted by a red warning icon. Uh, we've also got semantic validations. Here are some of the code quality rules that we're applying to this code. I've got a rule set that tells me that in doing or in performing this type of join, I'm in violation of the rule that suggests I use the ANSI join style whenever possible. With the release of Oracle 12c, Toad has also added some 12c specific functionality. In this case, I'll show you some of the in-memory uh, support features that have been added. You'll notice I, I've created a table. I'm going to give it a, 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 a suitable name. But notice if I check the display advanced features option, I'll get a, a number of additional tabs, uh, one of which is the in-memory tab. Here I can affect the object itself as it's being created and I'll see the appropriate properties presented within the user interface. I'll also see similar support in both the schema compare, uh, the table create and alter interfaces, the schema browser, and at the object level as well. We've gotten a lot of feedback from users asking for an easy way to share resources that have been created in Toad. That request has been addressed in Toad for Oracle 12.7. In this example, I've got a script I'd like to share with a number of users. I'm just going to select the option to publish to the new Toad Intelligence Central server. In doing so, I can name and describe this artifact. I can also even include the Oracle connection details, or in other words, the connection that would support this script. I can import users through Active Directory, and then I can very precisely determine which users should have access to this resource. So in this case, perhaps a dev user might benefit from this script, whereas a QA user might not. I'll make my selection, and only that user or group is able to view that artifact. You'll notice as well other resources are available to be shared, the previously mentioned database connection, formatter options from the editor, general options within Toad, and even automations. Toad users have long taken advantage of the code analysis feature to understand the quality of their code in terms of maintainability and, and uh, overall complexity. The results of these tests were communicated through manual reports. With Toad for Oracle 12.7, we've actually automatically uh, begun uploading these code analysis findings to a web interface. So now you're able to actually share those resources. Additionally, we're able to track the history or the evolution of that code. So here's an example of a 
a procedural code that is actually improved in terms of its toad code rating over time and that is information that formerly was not available and is very powerful for the developer user. So here's a summary of what we covered. I hope you found it useful. I also hope you enjoy using Toad for Oracle 12.7.